Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. In today's tutorial, we're going to cover arguments and functions. Uh, this is going to be a very basic overlay. We're going to cover these in the next couple tutorials. As always, don't forget to uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe to our channel. So let's get started. Let's get and create a uh, function. I got my Python interpreter fired up, so uh, I'm going to define a function. I'm going to call this function test, not text. And I'm going to pass an argument of A. All right, that's right there. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and say A is equal to 5, and let's return A. All right, so on this function, we want to go ahead and, and understand that we cannot change the um, assignment in here of A. All right, A is always going to be 5, even if we pass something to it. So if we do uh, B is equal to 11, and we do uh, print test B. All right, so now we're passing a new argument of 11. So you can think of it as 11. Uh, we could actually do 11, but we'll do B. All right, so we'll print it. And we get back five. Well, you're saying, well, we passed an argument of 11 to it. Why did nothing change? Well, we can't reassign in a function. So to even prove that, a is equal to, uh, let's say, 10. All right. And then we'll do print test a. All right. We got five. All right. So we can't change that. Um, how about if we don't pass an argument? If we do print test and say, hey, I know it's going to return 5 because that's what that function does, we're going to get an error because it's requiring a one positional argument of A. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and define a, another function. We're going to call this one test as well, and we're going to pass A. All right, and I'm going to show you where passing a argument will actually work. If we do A is equal to 5 plus A, all right, so what's going to happen is when we pass an argument, A is going to change this A, not this A, all right? So then we'll return A, and let's go ahead and say B is equal to 42, all right? And then we'll do print test, oops, B, all right? So we're passing the B as an argument or 42 as an argument. So 42 is going to come down here. It's going to go in here and come down here, all right? And we got 47. So 42 plus 5 is 47. So that is that is one of our basic overviews of arguments in Python. Stay tuned for the next couple tutorials. Like I said, we'll be covering arguments. And I'll see you guys then. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you.